Run. Think twice about breaking the he's law. He shot. five bullets, so she'll think twice next time. Yeah, it could have been less, but I fired with my eyes closed. Little inside challenge down at the precinct. What? Are you actually fucking insane? You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh my god! What? Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! That's crazy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of class of re-up today we're gonna try to find try to get more endings do something evil just with uh emily probably do this do something evil with the essay i kind of wanna but i just can't right now i told you the papers don't need to be good they just need to be done yeah but i want it to be good to me what so you care about school now never said that good to me but bad for the teacher oh so you're plotting i'm plotting heavy I want to write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. And when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rat music too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac or does she feel Tupac's obligated to mention Tupac? Oh shit. Yeah, she always says it as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm gonna skip anyway. Do you wanna hang out though? You know, yeah, come over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not gonna bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. See ya. You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's See, other than pages, the rap yeah. on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Like that too. Not a big fan, huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh. So, what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows, studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. Back to work. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. Ooh. I have more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now? And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You wanna meet her? I'd love She's to. coming. Cool, cause she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you wanna meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God, every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not gonna introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What, I can't even know her name? Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. She does. 
you can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. <laughs> are you going to see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put Mick Lovin movie. in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the other other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you gonna see it? No, why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's like different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No, Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jacko said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Whoa. Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only Bye. Do so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did the end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. What? Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little Not help yet. with the paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So... You think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her fired. Yeah, but you're going to write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really about racist what? book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving head isn't a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. It is if you're good at it. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see you guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip hop artists, if you could even call them that. Okay, okay. This paper's gonna be so fucking easy. Nicole, I didn't know you were in AP history. Huh? No, I'm not in AP history. Then why are you reading Mein Kampf? I'm racist now. Oh, all right. <laughs> Man, I'm oh, it's all right. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, sure. I heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? 
Uh huh. What do you think about it, like specifically? I think it has uh, like really good themes and a story. Big fan of the message and Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with you? Why do they block MySpace on the Wi-Fi? Because you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck right. is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler? F. Ooh. F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. I'll give you the stink piece, motherfucker. How do you feel a paper mm. in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, an MTV <laughs> reality show host are really fucking dumb. Emily! D. <laughs> Are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D in remedial? You're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh-huh. A. <gasps> A? A as in A or the A? letter? Or like the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like the letter? Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician, wise beyond your years. As if, right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because mm -hmm. next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. That'd anyway, be an amazing idea. Lesson? Slang. The death of the English language. One week later. Oh, let's see. How would they pick the cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandal, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California, where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom Ooh. to wander in. Yeah. That would've been good. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Seroquel doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Nicole! Oh, no, day. Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother I'd was just go for the I would actually choke her. Right this way, the here's catering. our star student. Hey, oh, we need you with the sandwich tray. Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. Ooh, sandwich tray. School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right. And as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper? We think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. They're gonna be like, I think Nicole, I know this paper. Would you like to read your paper to the board? This paper that sounds familiar. Okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right. So this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. <laughs> Look at all these sexless marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. 
But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got tempo at three o'clock. <clears throat> As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre it. owns itself to be a foreign <laughs> people, yet even here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that... What is this again? Uh-oh. Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national consciousness of the rapper uh... finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers, again, slyly dupe the dumb masses. Did they not read it? are weird. Like, really fucking weird. <laughs> like, everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. What? Like, heads up, mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up. The school itself was a problem, too, because every guy watches South Park, and Jew's been, like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. <laughs> Can't believe they didn't read it. Well, let's get into another one. Um, let's see. Wait. Oh, cool. Wait. No. No. Okay, so which one should we do? Um, we'll start a new game. Ugh. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? Yeah, well, hey guys, shoot and should I? Yeah. Why would I? What do the like? Yeah, I'll, uh, I do. Uh, fine. Oh God, where are you even going? We'll go to the mall. Uh, why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have like no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh, is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI because you're so normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD and a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying sketchers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. Well, um...
VLS CV in 2008. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet? Don't you have the songs on your eye touch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other than you? Guys who want me bad? See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along... I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Wait, what is Flaming, flaming Lips? Flaming Lips? Shitty. Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what fans we like. <laughs> oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, too. I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without dad in front of it. Well, yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Yeah, you know, I don't even think about being old. Yeah, I'd probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you, like, leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it, too? Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, because my mom was telling me about the Zodiac Killer, and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. One time they Why cut him. About every girl Still, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. Do you think we're crazy for wanting that? No, we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. Should we leave before we get caught or? Yeah, let's go to the Chrome Diner. Okay. <laughs> Since one of the scanners here. Looks like the jig is up, girls. God damn it! Caught over stealing a twelve ninety nine CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it. She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Ooh, um, run! Come on, what? But we have a runner. Free! <laughs> Bing! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! You actually fucking shot me! What the fuck is wrong with you? Maybe now you'll think twice about breaking the he law. He shot. You shot five bullets, so she'll think twice now. Yeah, it could have been less, but I fired with my eyes closed. A little inside challenge down at the precinct. What? Are you actually fucking insane? You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh my god, what? Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! That's crazy. Oh, no, please don't. I'm sorry. Now that's more like it. I'll call you girls an ambulance. One sec. No way. <laughs> But yeah, do you want to go to my party this Saturday? I don't know. It's just kind of tricky for me lately, like PTSD and everything. One of the guys from All Time Low might be there. I'm fucking All Time Low. I have therapy Can't believe twice you a didn't day use now. What happened? <laughs> you don't remember the news two weeks ago? Oh, that was, um, no, I don't. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, totally. Just RSVP by Thursday so we know. What a fucking bitch. Hey. Oh my god, you're out? Yeah, they cleared me last week, but I didn't feel like going to school. You didn't feel like answering your text either. I thought you were dying. Well, yeah, I was emotionally. I'm always dying emotionally. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice a day. Shit was wild. So what happened with your leg? Oh, yeah, so they said the bullet went deep into my thigh and almost hit an artery. But they got it out, right? The surgery went well? I mean, I'm walking as well as it could go. What? I don't know. When they were putting me under, I was so afraid they were gonna, like, violate me or something. They're doctors, Nicole. They're not gonna do that. Okay, well, uh, that's what they said about teachers, parents, and police, so who the fuck can we trust anymore? Oh, God. By the way, do you know what happened with that cop? My dad heard they gave the cop paid leave or something. What the fuck? Being a cop has to be the most cathartic job in the world. Really? Think about it. You're some loser with a gun and your wife doesn't want to fuck you, so you go out, shoot a teenager, and get a paid trip to Bermuda. That sounds kind of good, actually. You gonna join the academy? Why would I? I'll never be in a situation where my spouse doesn't want to fuck me, because I'm a perfect 10 with a high libido. Huh? 
How many times a day you say you go to therapy? Hello, girls. Are we staying out of trouble here? Whoa, what are you doing here? After our little skirmish at the mall, the county reassigned me to patrol this school to pay my debt to the youth. So oh, let's stay in wow. school this time, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, bye, dude. Sure, but one more thing. If either one of you get in any trouble, I will not hesitate to fucking murder you. Have fun in school, you girls. They should have fired yeah, him. Yeah, sure thing. Why, why did they send him here? Dude, you didn't even get shot. Calm down. He said he was going to blow my brains out, Nicole. Oh my God, you're such a poser. What the fuck am I supposed to do? We can't all be sociopaths like you, Nicole. You'll get there. So why are you here? Are you going to skip sued. again or what? We're gonna. We're gonna. Ooh. We're gonna keep skipping. With the mall cop here, too. Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just like. I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no. Like, yeah, um. Hey, I like your shirt. I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there like any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really like a bad religion fan. I only like maybe like four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back. Hey, I like your shirt. Oh, yeah, cool. I like <laughs> yeah. your shirt, by the way. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it, like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's got to, like, take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game. I didn't. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the to... fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three? Could you pass for pr I hope not. Why not? All right. Or you could drop. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there, hold it. Here we go. <coughs> Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? <laughs> Don't make me call security. Uh... Hey, you dropped something. Whoa, that is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Oh, wait, so that would work? be a... Uh, What's going on with Braxton? None of your his business. boyfriend, right? Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way mm, to the bathroom? What do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I <laughs> Sorry, hope you go. remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend Ooh. I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously. I guess. <laughs> guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. 
Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who? With the... Uh... It's a... Uh... It's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical non-profit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, Ooh. I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. 10% not a bad. Span. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape most and murder it, victims yeah. that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> oh. So then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. Uh, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good charity. idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students. We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. 
You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> How many <laughs> times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this badass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to rebase. To what? I'm feeling lucky. Google's turning 10. It's young. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh. Fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today, I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> oh. I'll have to look them up sometime. The hostile. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, <laughs> he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh, yeah. I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. You still know that song? I got long baking soda. To find this shit. <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shakeups? <laughs> the Lunchables. Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? 
Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And he didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag! They're gonna kill you if they find out! How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was an MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's an MS-13 now. And no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty-ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are baking. you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another <laughs> one. It's from Tiffany. Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. An hour? I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are so numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells good to like know your plastic, potential. so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Nah, let's go. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Twelve! Twelve! They were behind you, it's behind you. Cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I peace. Peace. A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Sounds like a... Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for oh. my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has I forget his been name. okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Good of luck. Course, as I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know. I lost count. 16, 18... 22 hours. Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> kind of <laughs> awesome like that. I shockingly surprised, Nicole. So she Good made to see like you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm thing? really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. Hey. All right. Who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. 
Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond Man. for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, I'll right. be watching. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? You know something's Good. up. Yeah. Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. What, you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around a shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean, friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while i sit and watch <laughs> what the fuck why would you do that what else are friends for so are, are you waiting for somebody yeah and she wouldn't want to fuck you either bro you're acting wild how can you even say something like that hey sorry i got held up in math jekka would you fuck crispin ew no see no one wants to fuck you you guys are just <laughs> man you guys are wild fuck off and leave <laughs> okay i'll see you around guys See you around. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my bay hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Suit yourself. Uh, so you in school or? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Uh-huh. 
Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah, I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in KG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright <laughs> evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, run, run. Now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you oh. just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Isn't the Anything same guy from the mall? Can and will be held against you. You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was, like, three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block, and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? It's get rich or die trying. I get did rich or die to. trying. You're white. <laughs> what? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. 
No therapists in here. No nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So, compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends. And buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good. Clear your eyes is hit uh, two up and two down. Let's see. We'll go to Arclus. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw a few characters. We're going to draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper without the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for if we're drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheap. So, you're. I guess. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girl. Yeah. This. Uh, we'll actually draw. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch The Office. The Office? The TV show? Yeah, it's good. you aren't funny, you'll love it. It's good. Hey, I like The Office. Yeah. So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning uh, brushes, mm. organizing supplies, and oh. posting to our uh. MySpace pages. Uh -huh. Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl what? City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Oh yeah, you'll see. Oh yeah. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? God, I drew for an hour and then in two days I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Laurie? Uh, both? Oh, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating on him and- Wait, wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell you. No, come on. But I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. So you go ahead and tell me, okay? It was the UPS man. <laughs> Holy shit. What? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust you. Thank you. She's fucking down? <laughs> That's pathetic, right? 
What if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. Who invited you? Me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. In practice. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Show up the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, what? What? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to like, he, he was kind of going at you. We're not going to fuck either of you. Oh, uh, whatever then. Yeah, no, um. They literally do that every week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. For the gay channel, it's this kind of time. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? When it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, mm, another tiny child bit. predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school Jamie and your friends Lynn are already Spears. pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? Oof. It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine. Stop lying. Quit shoplifting. Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem. What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now. Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? You have two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The MILF window's closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my back? Volume. Top shelf on the left. Mm. Why Top do they say me left. when they talk about football teams? Hold on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. You should move when you graduate. Unfortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. 
I will now walk around to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean, whatever. And now, whatever. I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it with the class. If you say so. This is... What is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the UPS man. <laughs> what? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. <laughs> Hi, you. I better have some Valium left. It's spelled! Guess not. I told you you were Hi, you. What'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely! Yeah. Indefinitely, meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, Mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit. Get out of my house. Go drink Ooh. some wine. You're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it. God damn it. <sighs> Hurry up. I texted like five minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Pib, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch. Tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Not the fruit roll-ups. wonder which mall has the softest benches. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You add the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, whatever. guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. You know what I meant. Ugh, I don't know if I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Have you never thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110. Here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. 
Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one because I fucking hate the homeless. Close one. Okay. Seriously, like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. Yeah, th that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus Christ! What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. <sighs> okay, I gotta figure something out. Work at dying DVC D store or start your own car wash. Work at the Okay, so welcome to FYE. I thought it was Fi. Uh, no. FYE, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly. I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school together. Do we? I don't think we properly met. Are you fucking with me? Okay, Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but not in front of the customers. So, first training question, what does FYE stand for? For your excitement? Try again. For your ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. For your <laughs> entertainment? Good. But not only are the products for the customer's entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you wanna sell that rewards program, is that optional? Sell it once a month or else you're fired. Oh, and after hours, am I allowed to sleep in the break room? I mean, I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night. Even the days I'm not working, I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want then, go-getter. And do you drug test? No. It's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. Glad to hear. Let's go out on the floor so I can show you how it's done. Okay, the floor. we're just opening, so some customers are gonna show soon. Remember the four steps to the register? Greet compliment help entertain oh my god good memory i try because i have to now oh customer watch this hey welcome to fye i'm kelly oh yeah hey nice shirt by the way thanks uh yeah most people were kind of down on this guns and roses really i thought it was even better than the first movie movie so you looking for anything in particular uh some dvd box sets for a road trip oh yeah collections are right over here but you gotta pick the right one or you're in for a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Oh man, sorry to hear. What a mistake. And the difference between this and whoring myself out on MySpace is... I wonder if this place has anime. Nicole? Hi, welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way, nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you don't look like a regular rapist. Thanks. So are you looking <laughs> for anything? Well, actually, I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. Um, do you have any? No, we don't carry anime, so sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed till you were eight. What? You're just saying that because of my breast milk fetish. What? Now you really have to leave. But what? But Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. My mom got it for me at Target. That's really hot. What brings you here today? Anime. So we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. Oh, okay. I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? Okay, I get a redo. That was a psycho customer. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. Yeah, but you didn't see the other weird shit about his breast milk fetish. Nicole, we're in the business of sales. If the customer says he has a breast milk fetish, you tell that bitch to drink up. Uh, that's insane. That's customer service. He won't remember what he bought. But Drink he up. will remember telling the pretty girl working at FYE about breast milk and her being totally cool with it. I, I don't get it. Is this Hooters? Basically. But instead of wings, we sell DVDs. And instead of a boob job, you get a lip ring. Why the hell did I get a job? This is just as degrading as selling my body on MySpace. You can do that? Hell yeah. Emily told me. It's on the internet so the cops don't track it. I've been having sex for free this whole time. You're telling me I could have got paid for it? Yeah, you want to try it with me? Fuck this place, let's quit. I'm the manager, remember? So you get a lanyard, big deal. This lanyard means I make $9.25 an hour, plus discounts, plus benefits. Yeah, you're kind of set for life here. 
How long do we have to work before they give us the lip ring? We don't it's give you one. You just low. get it yourself. Oh. Well, I quit that. Uh, nothing okay. Else. It was nice working with you. Yeah, good luck. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, shit. What's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about dirty little rental? Little slutty. All right, what about pierced princess? Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX pierced princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from like hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that when you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh, Cream Pie Casanova 420. Yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. <laughs> I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. One week later. You know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What do you think, everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit and Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a whore going? Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Money for sex? <laughs> On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. For real? What I'm saying is being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. I can't beg sober, I can't starve sober, and I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, which is the last place you want to be sober in. I guess, it's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this, it's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. Are you trying to guilt me right now? I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want from me? Just fruit roll-ups. This is so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to get me through it. Also, please keep this to yourself. I have a high-profile career and don't want this getting around. 
High profile means rich. And rich means blackmail money. Ooh. But I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library computers. Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um, your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're, like, really distinctive in a hot way. You could, like, be in Playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Christ, whatever. Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Too easy. Okay, that camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player, or Steve Jobs, or the guy who invented Adderall. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark, he probably can't even recognize me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Don't tell me. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. Oh, it's... You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori! Oh, God! You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? Uh, Nicole, please don't! Oh, no! That's why your wife left you! You kept paying for ass on the internet! Emily, come out here! Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what oh. was this? <laughs> we thought you were gonna be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses! Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been doing this? Girls, please! I'm just very anxious! I popped three Zans and I'm still freaking out! How do you think I feel? No, come on, let, let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that! This dude got me expelled! He ruined my life! I'm sorry, Nicole. Just please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand. Each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you gotta worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell a soul. And we got the evidence. You know, damn well we told after we got the money. <laughs> I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board. And the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything just kind of worked out. Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Jekka was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. Ooh. If you like the video, drop a like or a follow and thank you for watching. Peace. Mira como se mueve, bellísima mujer, dígame lo que le duele. Tenga mi corazón, haga lo que quiere. Soy malo en el amor, pero sé que por mí muere. Cantando y bailando, se la pasa bien. Díganle de mí, siempre al cien. Come for me, no sea 